You know that. Probably. Yes. Okay, good. Can I ask you a, an inappropriate question? Might as well. You don't think that we could ever be together again? Is that because you're so in love with your husband or because you already have something going on with Aiden? Oh, careful. I, I think that's the problem. Too much black current. The book says a drop of black current for a whisper of elegance and sophistication. And that wasn't a drop. It was more like a downpour. Okay, there has to be a chemist somewhere who needs the overtime. No, no. We create, they replicate, just like we did with the first lip color we made in Kendall's kitchen. That's what's missing. Kendall's kitchen? She doesn't even live there anymore. No, Kendall. I second that. Greenlee, I know we needed to deliver this formula, but you think we could wait a day or two? I mean, it's almost there, but I think maybe we should wait for Kendall's input. Did we say something wrong? Greenlee? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm just laying my head down and dying because Kendall's not here. That's what everyone else seems to be doing. <laughs> it's not funny, Amanda. I'm the co-founder of the company, okay? Co. That means half. That means I don't need Kendall to make simple decisions. Just because she's across the country with my boyfriend, who should really be in my place waiting for me when I get home, even though she's gone, yucking it up on her book tour, I am perfectly capable of handling this perfume launch in a timely manner. What do you mean, me and Aiden? I'm just saying you guys look, you know, pretty chummy earlier tonight, that's all. Oh, no, no, no. No, you don't get off the hook that easily. You were more than hinting at me having some big love affair with Aiden. I told you that the question was going to be inappropriate, so... So it's not funny. Aiden is my friend. Really? Yes, really. And I know that's hard for you, of all people, to believe. But like you said, you've changed. So have I. Okay. Okay. You know what? You're not going to remember this, but before you lost your memory, you and me, we had gotten to this really good place where we actually were friends. Uh-huh. We were. And there was no attraction at all. I'm sorry. I cannot buy that. I'm sorry. That stuff just does not go away. It doesn't disappear. Okay, if that were true, then you would still be wanting to sleep with all of Pine Valley, every <laughs> single woman. No, only you. Listen, I hate that Zach assigned Aiden to guard duty. I hate it. To protect you from me. Okay, well, it actually turned out to be a good thing that he was there. Not because of you. But because something happened. What something happened? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. And it was handled. Well, I'm sorry that Zach thought that he had to get security for me. And I'm sorry that I even brought up this whole thing about Aiden. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. But just so you know, Aiden, he's just doing his job, okay? We were just clowning around, acting like idiots, as we normally do in my hotel room. And there's nothing more between us. I love Zach. I get it. I know you love Zach and you're loyal to Zach and <laughs> do anything behind Zach's back. I get it. He's a very lucky guy. Maybe. Maybe not so lucky. Talking about. Mm, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, fine, because you know that's crazy. Okay, Brian. Yeah. You know me. And you know that I'm not exactly low maintenance, okay? Right? I'm pretty high maintenance. And <laughs> Zach has to put up with a lot. Well, I'm just going to say that some things are worth the trouble. Easy for you to say. What do you mean easy for me to say? I was willing to take the leap, okay? You are worth it. Kendall and Zach knows that, all right? Are you sure you don't want a drink? Okay, you know what? Yes, I'll have a drink, I'll have a drink, I'll have a drink. Word um, I think, excuse me, could I have a Cosmo, please? Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Should I read into that at all? No, how about, I just want to have a Cosmo. <laughs> they look good and they're pink. 
Uh, <laughs> out of everything that we talked about tonight, there's just, there is the one thing that I can't quite wrap my head around. Oof, I'm afraid to ask. How could I give you up for a Funny. I could never understand that either. I mean, never. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Oh, thank, thank you. you. That's great. Oh, we're bad. What do you think she would say if she heard me say that? If Gwenly heard you say that, mm -hmm. I think she would uh, take this drink and bam, between the eyes. <laughs> I wanted Kendall to go on the book tour. Hell, I'm the one that sold the book in the first place. Hyperion should be giving me a 10% finder's fee. I mean, come on. I would never take it, but charm wouldn't be charm if it weren't for me. Oh, uh, nobody's saying that Kendall's more talented than you, Greenlee. Really? Because that's what it seems like. Everyone's freaking out about needing her input before they go to the bathroom. Fusion was my idea. Fusion Green, my idea. Kendall and I are a fantastic team, but we stand on our own. Okay, so the raving bitch portion of the program is over. That's what you guys are thinking, right? Maybe a little. No, that's just you and Kendall. You guys have always slugged it out with each other to be the best at everything. And I always come out on top. Kidding. Keep reading. For my heart note, I picked Cactus Blossom for its airy floral scent. Go for it, Annie. Cactus Blossom, coming right up. All right, let's see. Okay. Well? I'm not gonna lie to you. No cigar, no. huh? Oh, we're so close. Come on, Kendall. Why can't you be here? Uh, I thought that kind of talk was off limits. Oh, that's just how Kendall and Greenlee roll. They like to bitch about each other, but then when push comes to shove, they need that spark. No, I get it, though. Competition's good for business. Some of the best ideas have come from people trying to outdo the other person. Thank you, Annie. I couldn't have said it better myself. Or maybe just a little better. So, is that how you felt about when you and Kendall were both going after Ryan? I mean, was it good for business? Amanda, I don't oh. think Annie wants to hear about that right now. No, it's okay. I mean, competition keeps you on the toes. You know, keeps you from being complacent. Wow, that's a really good attitude. I wish I felt like that. When I am jealous, I just want to cut my rival right out of the picture. Or just cut their hair off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, it's not like I love what's going on with Ryan. I mean, quite frankly, it sucks. But I can't sit around and be bitter about something I can't control. You know? Wait a minute. That's it. That's what? That's what's wrong with our formula. It's too bitter. It needs leveling off. Annie, you're a genius. <laughs> so, you and Zach were married on a ship. Yep. We were on a ship, under the stars, the waves crashing under us as we said our vows. Just us. No family. It was perfect. No, I'm glad. You deserve it. I mean, I wish I was the guy. <laughs> what can you do? You're a good friend, Ryan. Even though I want you in the worst possible way imaginable? That's my cue to leave. <laughs> I think that's my cue. I think I need to go anyway because I think Aiden's going to freak out if he sees that I'm gone. Yeah, we don't want to put on an APB. Hmm. Thanks for having a drink with me. Did it help? Yeah, I think it did. Honestly, it's amazing. I love it's it. Yeah. It's sweet, but with a nice body. Yeah. Ladies, congratulations. Through our blood, sweat, and tears, we have finally created the all-new fragrance for Charm. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, finally. All right, now go home, get some rest, don't get too relaxed, because tomorrow we start the ad campaign. Uh, oh, oh, my God, I could sleep for like Ooh. three days. I'm kidding. It's like giving birth. I mean, do it. Kind of is like giving birth. 
You should be proud of yourself. Back at you. You didn't let us quit until it was just right. And you know what else? Kendall had nothing to do with it. Thanks for being such a good friend. Anytime. Okay. I have to go. I mean, I really need to go. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Do. you do need your beauty sleep, so you should get going. Hey! What? <laughs> I've been doting on you all night. I figure I should bounce it out a little bit. I don't think so. You just think you're so funny, don't you? Yeah, you see, I think I do. <laughs> well, I do, I'll get you a cab. Maybe I'll need to walk you to your room. I think you should walk me to the lobby. I'll take what I can get. Ooh! <laughs> a man who is easily pleased. I like it. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, come on, let's go. Uh, let's go. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah.